and we're still working with some alcohol inks today. Sally's filming from behind the camera and hello. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her or not. So we did a couple of videos so far on alcohol inks. I would refer you to the one we did on pendants. That will give you a lot of the basics of different kinds of alcohol inks that there are and the things you're going to need. Uh, things that I'd like to reiterate right now, make sure your, your surface is covered uh, because it can get a little messy, especially with this project we're working on today. Make sure your clothes is covered. That's why I'm in my apron today. And make sure that you have gloves on because you will get this ink all over your hands. And all over your ring. And all over my ring. <laughs> We're going to switch our glove. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> okay. Ring's coming off. <laughs> and take your jewelry off. Yep. Okay. Um, so today, well, I got my ring off, uh, my hand off. What we're going to make is we're going to make a sun catcher. Oh, it's got a piece of it. Similar to this. And I went shopping at my, my uh, favorite craft store, Goodwill, to find my little project supplies, <laughs> or some of them anyway. I found this, um, this little frame. What I was looking for was a square piece of glass. So I basically took that apart and I have my square piece of glass that I'm gonna be working with today. And then um, on this one, it was kind of cool because I did had the frame that I found had this matte section. So I think it worked out pretty well. It looks really cool and it hangs in the window and I'll show you how we do that. Um, let's see here. You know what? There's a, some little gold things over here. My helper's helping me. These little leafy things. Those are the ones. Okay. There you go. Make sure you get gloves that fit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got. Unless I grabbed a small. Details, there. details. Yeah. So picky. I don't know. I like them tighter though because if they're if you get these what you know big ones, you can't really feel what you're doing. Oh my gosh, we have those at work, and it feels like you have a baby on your hand. It's awful. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do first is make sure that you clean the glass because every little fingerprint that we just put on there is going to show that it will resist the inks. So you want to make sure that you clean the glass. And again, the other key thing is make sure you have ventilation if you're going to be working for any extended time frame. And be very careful because this glass is not finished, so these edges can be very sharp. We're gonna deal with the edges. We're gonna put a little foil tape on the side edges, um, on the edges, so that you can't see it, or you can't get cut by the edges of the glass, which helps a lot. So, okay. So I have my clean piece of glass. Now today, there's a couple different things we're gonna work with. A um, couple different colors. We have to pick some colors here. I find that working with glass, the bolder colors work better. I think I'm going to work with olive today. Uh, maybe not. I think I'll do some brights. Um, Baja blue. That pink was really bold that we did in our last thing. I think mm -hmm. I'm going to back off with pink. I think I'll work with flamingo. And let's see, maybe an orange would work. This is a Calabaza, Calabaza orange. We'll try that. Those three. Calabaza. Calabaza. Okay. I don't even know how you spell Calabaza. Just like it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> is there a Z in it? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm going to be hanging this thing from a on the diagonal here, so. A um, couple things, two tools. This works to blow the ink around. Not necessarily when it's just the dots of ink, it doesn't go very far, but when you add the blending solution with it, it really helps. The other thing we can do is this, which is, um, I got this at Walmart, it must be their own brand. 
But this is uh, electronics duster. It, it works on keyboards. It's, I'll show you what it does. It's really kind of fun. So, okay, first off, what I want to do is kind of put down some base colors and I'm going to, I want this to blend out and kind of go transparent toward the sides. So, um, all right, I'm going to put a couple of colors down. I'm wondering about, I find that Jacquard works a little bit, uh, it's very bold colors. So I don't know how bold this is going to get. I don't want it to take over everything, but we'll see how it works. And I think that, did I use that color already? Mm -mm. That flamingo looks pretty orange to me. I might go pink in there. Okay, so now I have my blending solution. I'm just gonna kind of squirt the blending solution into this. And I'll show you how first how this works. And again, if this doesn't turn out the way you want it to, just wipe it off and start again. Now this, you just want to move the, move the colors around a little bit. Some of them are going off the edge, and we'll clean up those edges too. And I'm seeing that the blue and the orange are turning a little bit, the blue and the orange have turned a little muddy on me, which I'm not thrilled with. But we'll keep going and see where we end up. I'm going to put in a little bit of the blue and the, it turned into a little purple too. That was kind of nice. All right, now what I'm going to show you with this is how it, uh, of course I don't have it started yet. It's a brand new can. <laughs> it gives you that spray and this is why you need to it gives you a little splatter effect, which is kind of cool too. Now, what I'm gonna do here is show you what that looks like, okay? I'm not thrilled with the way that brown is looking on there. So I am going to, first off, clean this off and we're gonna stick with the blue and the purple. I like the blue and the purple and we're gonna see what that, I'm gonna stick with two colors first. Spraying the isopropyl alcohol on this. This is how you can just start making a mess, but. <laughs> just why you need the pad. Um, so, I'm just gonna clean that off and I'm not gonna to worry too much about the other side because once this is done, I will clean off the other side completely. So. Okay, so we got that going. I like this plum and I like this blue. Keep it, you're gonna have ink on your table. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of the blending going on. And now let's see where we end up. Yeah, this is pretty strong blowing. Now another thing you could do, now see how that has worked out? So what I'm gonna do now is add a little bit more color. These are definitely abstract, abstract kind of workshop tests, I think. If you want more control, sometimes you can use a straw. Add a little bit more blending. I'm bring this a little closer to me. I'm gonna put some here too. I really like the transparency you get. You get lightheaded yet? <laughs> no, not yet, not yet. Since I'm blowing mostly in one direction, add a few more drops. Okay. 
Okay. So we're getting, we're getting that going here. All right, now I'm gonna put a little bit of that going in here. And I'm gonna see. Do you see that blow? <laughs> okay, put the blower away and then put it back on. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is add a little bit more texture and move some of this ink around a little bit so it's kind of overlapping with color. Are those considered cells or no? Are those considered cells or no? I'm sorry. Are those considered cells or no? No, that's a whole nother animal. Oh, <laughs> I thought I knew something. What she's talking about is fluid art, which we'll do another video on that. Okay. That tended to blow a little bit too much. What's nice about this, you can kind of tell it's just the ink just re resists itself, you know, and it um, okay, you've got a lot of color going now. It almost looks kind of like a flower. Oh. I don't know if you can see that or not. In front of the white, yep. Yeah. Well, even better. See that? Yeah, that looks really neat. Now, I'm not going to mess with this because you can't overwork these. Believe me. I've been there, done that a thousand times. Okay, this is... It's drying and... It's dry enough and it's not gonna move. So this is just gonna, the heat, we just help it dry just a little bit more. Okay, so there's that. Now what we're gonna do next, um, typically I let this dry a little bit more and then I take the Kmart and I spray it over the top. Um, for this video, I'm going to go ahead and work with it the way it is, um, and I'll spray it after when, because <laughs> it's not going to, you're not going to see a big difference, um, and it's okay if that clear varnish gets on top of, and I, the reason I'm taking my gloves off is because I'm going to be working with tape now. I think I showed you before this foil tape. I bought this at Home Depot. It's in the plumbing area. And um, I think it might even be near duct tape, electrical. Um, anyway, what I've done with this is I've taken some pieces and I did this before because it takes a few minutes to do. Uh, I've only seen it in this two inch version. I'd love to find it in, this, in a narrower piece, but since it only comes in this, I've cut it down into half inch strips. And then I folded those half inch strips in half like this. These are actually the half inch strips. Um, and you can see they're folded in half, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna, just so you don't have to see my mess, you can see this better. I'm gonna take the foil tape I'm going to take the backing off of it. Okay. And I'm going to just lay it down. Maybe I'll do this side so you can see it better. And it's very tacky, so if I can get it off my fingers, <laughs> I'll be happy. Um, the reason I fold it in half so as I know um, um, where to put the glass. Okay. So I'm laying this down right before the line of the halfway mark. Now that's my goal anyway. 
because this glass is not, um, it's, a, it's still got about a 16th of an inch thickness to it. So when you do this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this over the glass. Now there's gonna be a front side and a back side to this, so it's, it's okay if it doesn't match up. And it, it's okay if you get a little bit of wrinkles, you can really kind of press those out. But that is gonna leave us with a protective edge so you're not gonna cut yourself on this. Okay. All right, now, scissors. Okay, and now I'm gonna just cut this off at the edge. And you can see that it's gonna give your piece a nice silver border around it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly do the other three sides. And it's probably the hardest part getting the band <laughs> now, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to quickly. Off. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Just do these other three sides real quick. Okay. Okay, so we're back and I finished up the last piece. Now here's our piece. Now what we need next is something to hang it on. So I have these little pieces here I got in the jewelry department and these are, they're like a bale that you would put on a stone. Um, what I've done here, I'm going to turn this so if I can find something in my work, that might work. Okay, so what we're going to do is, if these come basically like this. Um, they're this two flat pieces that we're going to use to glue. And I'm just going to bend this around this brush just so it kind of stays round and doesn't get just a crease in it. Okay. So now you've got your bail. So we take our E6000 and we wanna put it, I'm gonna use, I like it hung like this. So what I'm gonna do is put a dab of this on both points, the front and back. Stuff will just end up <laughs> dripping right out okay and then I'm just gonna put this bale on here and it's sliding around but it's all right okay drives clear thankfully and so we've got a little bit of a hook there now with this bale you know I'm just trying to get it right in place like that. So there you have it. And when this dries, we'll be able to hang it from a window. And you'll have a beautiful little sun catcher for your windows. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Like us, share us, and tune in next time to see which craft we're going to do next.